All right, first and foremost, I'm going to all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakodash, the modest of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace, I take you brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. It's the brother Gabario from the Indiana camp. Come back at you again with another sit down to basically talk about um these uh, fake and phony pastors, man. All right. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I just seen an article about. Um, this pastor, uh, uh, I guess, um, got a video, got linked, got a video around, going around about he, um, he's, uh, uh, performing oral sex on a, on a, um, on a female, you know, and, um, you know, the video went viral and a lot of people are sharing it, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was strange that this is a pastor, you know, supposed to be a man of the Lord doing stuff like this and recording it, but it's really the Lord, um, Exposing you pastors out there to to to, so, uh, to show you what what type of mind state uh, you pastors in, man. You're just greedy dogs, as the scripture says it, man. All right, you're not doing anything to edify the flock. You're not doing anything to build uh people up. You're not doing anything. You're not saying those type of prophecies. You, all you care is about is money and women, man. All right, and being in other men's business, trying to get with another man's wife. All right, I won't be surprised if that was um if that was an uh. A woman, a, a part of the congregation, you know, and he got, all, and he got, and he got, you know, he got over on her, you know, perform oral sex on her, you know. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the scriptures. This is Jeremiah chapter three and verse fifteen. It says, "And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding." See, so that's talking. So the Lord said, "He shall give you pastors according to his, to, according to his flock." That shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And if you look up the word pastor, it goes back into the word pasture. All right. And if you know what pasture is, that's what the um the lambs and the cows and and, and and certain animals feed off of. Man, that's what they eat to get their nourishment. All right. So what so what is their pastor supposed to be doing, man? They're supposed to be that that nourishment. They're supposed to be that um that uh, uh they're supposed to be right there, always ready for you. You know. Let's compare it to a lamb, man. A lamb, when it gets hungry, does it go out and, and prepare its and meal? And it, no, man, it goes out to the grass and it chews on the grass, man. And it, and it, and it eats to its fullness and then it leaves, all right? That's how the, uh, uh, these pastors, that's how a, a true pastor is supposed to be, all right? If if your flock has questions, if your flock has, you know, needs an uh, acknowledgement about something, then you're supposed to go edify them and then um, any time of the day, man. All right. Any time that uh, the that, that they um that that man needs edification or be or need to be built up, then what man? You supposed to be edifying them. All right. And that's why we put these videos up. That's why we go on the highways and byways and put these videos up because, uh, true enough, man. These these videos are actually to edify you brothers, man. And even if you don't watch it right then and there, you get you have uh, a certain amount of time where you can go back and watch it, man. All right. Before Esau knocks him down, or before the Lord takes it down, or before the Lord cuts the internet off, because that has happened, you know, the Lord has cut the internet off. Where hey, these videos won't be acceptable. These videos won't be um, expendable no more. You can't just go and oh, I want to watch the Apostle Gabar. You just go watch the Apostle Gabar anytime you want. You know, man, it's not going to be like that no more. You know, so hey, these videos are up here for your edification. You know, so uh, when we put these videos up. You know, brothers can go watch the video and get edified throughout the day. Right now, it's it's seven forty one in the morning. You know, hey, a brother can watch this video as soon as I po post it up, or a brother can watch it soon later in the afternoon. You know, but once I post this video up, hey, it's gonna be constantly ed it's gonna be constantly edifying. You know, Lord willing, this video is edifying for you, brothers. You know, but to compare that to these pastors now, man, these pastors right now is not edifying. These pastors now they just want to hoop and holler, shout, scream. And uh, uh, collect money and have sex with as many as a, 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 as a woman congregation as they possibly can, you know. Being other men's business, t telling another woman how she should treat her husband, you know. Hey man, I even seen uh, some females. Uh, 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 it, you know, they was making fun of it. They was making this a meme, but you know, they'll say, you know, if it's just when your husband's head is not as good as the pastor's, you know, like 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 shit like that, man, you know. He's but he's setting a, a, a bad example. I like that. Now I'm not saying it was wrong for what he did. I'm not saying you know 
him you know eating eating his his woman if that is his woman you know however he act however he do deal, deal with his woman let him deal but for them to record it and put it online and, and you know if it's get linked the motherfuckers looking at it no man you're not gonna see a man of the lord doing some shit like that man you know you don't see no man of the lord to having this woman record him doing some 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 act like that or him himself recording you know then post it and then post it online you know you ain't gonna see no man of the lord doing that man you know because the uh, scripture says man uh hey um whatever you whatever you do with your woman man you're supposed to be it's between you and your woman all right you're not supposed to be posting it all on it, you know. Oh yeah, man, I hit my woman like this, and you know, you're talking about that, man. That's between you and your woman, man. No, you, no other man should know what you be doing to your woman. All right. But you know that that, that, that it's, it's just a bad look, man. All right. And especially, and especially, but it was really the Lord exposing you, uh, pastors, man, showing you, man, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not the Lord, man. I mean, you're not, um, you're not the man of the Lord. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get that scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. It says, His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs that cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Alright? It says, um, Yea, they are greedy dogs, which cannot, which cannot, she says, which cannot never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. See, let's go back to the beginning. It says, his watchmen are blind. Who, who, who is his watchman? It's lucky. I think my watchman, I think it just went off. No, no, still recording. Okay. It says, his watchman are blind. Yeah, because we're, uh, the pastor is also supposed to be a watchman, man. He's watching over the flock. All right? A pastor is supposed to watch over the flock, make sure the flock is not going off, make sure the flock is in, in, is in straights, because he's the shepherd, man. You know, because one, if one of those flocks go off and he didn't warn him, hey, their blood is going to be upon his head. All right? The Lord's going to say, hey, why didn't you correct this guy, you know, for doing this, doing that, man, being homosexual. Hey, uh, 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 this woman is bucking up against her uh, uh, her husband. You supposed to go to her husband and show her scriptures. Hey, brother, you know, this such 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 man. Hey, if she don't follow the way, man, you can you know you can leave her. You know. Hey, um, dealing with all the men. Really, to be honest, there really shouldn't be no women in there, anyways, man. To be honest, if you really want to put put, but hey, hey, there really shouldn't be no women in the church. It should be nothing but men. All right. It says, um. It says they are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs that cannot bark. What is bark, man? Bark is warning, man. If you have a dog and he's barking, he's warning, man. He's warning you of danger approaching, man. Something's not right. Something doesn't sit right in that dog's spirit. That's how we are, man. We're barking. We're making up a, a, an, a, 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 an alarm, man. We're crying out, okay? It says sleeping, lying down, living to slumber, man. Yeah, man, being all lazy, fat and lazy, man. Fat, lazy dogs, man. Dumb dogs, man. Don't know how to bark. Don't know how to warn the people. They just want to sit down and collect money. You know? Being greedy. That's what it's talking about being greedy, man. It says, yeah, they are all greedy dogs, which can never have enough. They are all shepherds that can understand, man. See? They can never have enough. That collection plate might go two, three, four times around, man. Put in ATMs, man. Put in a cash app. You know? Put in the cash. Oh, oh, we don't, we we don't worry about money here. But here's our cash app if you want to tithe. You know, I've seen my grandparents, man, give they last to they pastor, man, give they last. You know, and you talking about forty to fifty dollars per person that's in there. You know, and the and the, and the church is gonna stay packed with Jakes. You know, forty to fifty dollars per person that's in there, and it's them there a hundred people in the church, even twenty five people, man. That every Sunday. That's a check, man. That's a paycheck. You know? And it says, um, I'm not even going to get into this uh, uh, 501 CP3. It says, um, shepherds that can never stand, man, because they don't understand the scriptures in this entirely, man, because the Lord is not dealing with them. It says, they all, they says, they all look in their own way, every one of, every one of his gain. And his quarter, and I and I know this, and I know this scripture uh, per se because I remember I went to a church one time. My grandma dragged me because when I was living with her, and they had, and uh, they had two or three guest sponsor churches come by. 
you know, they were guest churches. They they had a collection plate going around. Every single church had their own collection plate going around. So if you give five dollars to one, guess what? You got to give five dollars to another one. You know. And it basically just kept going around. And and one uh, one of the pastor actually said he said yeah, pastor such such. He said he said he he sees ten dollars in his future. Well, you know what I see? I see fifty. Who got that fifty from me? And then the next pastor go even higher than that, man. You know. You pastors are jokes, man. You know, you, 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 you pastors as in these buildings are jokes, all right? And the Lord is exposing you, all right? And he's bringing forth his real pastors, man, which is what? The, the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, all right? But I didn't want to make this video too long, man. Lord willing, I hope this video was edified for you brothers out there. I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kokodash, and the elders and apostles, great millstone. Shalom.